Hello classmates, this is Christopher Stoner. Today I'd like to talk to you about my genre analysis for English 412. The topic I chose for my genre analysis were frequently asked questions pages or fact pages. Let's talk about the purpose of a fact page. A fact page gives guidance on products or services, attempting to answer some of the most commonly asked questions about a product or service. Now it's interesting that a fact page may be used to provide information to no particular audience at all. And I'm referring to the facts.org fact page on how to buy a digital camera. Not really intended for a specific audience as far as uh, race or ethnic background goes. Obviously if you're looking for a camera, that's the audience that they're looking for is someone that's wanting to buy a camera. Um, a fact page is very very uh, likely to be saturated by marketing. It's very possible that uh, companies are going to use fact pages to not only help remedy the problems that you may be experiencing with their products but also to help you gain trust in their brand and in their company. Um, in particular I looked at uh, Roto-Rooter and I looked at Fox News as uh, sources of marketing in a fact page whereas Roto-Rooter was more subtle Fox News was very very aggressive in their approach to marketing on their fact page they constantly referred back to themselves and their their fact page was intentionally left disorganized causing users to have to dig and exploiting the users needs for information Fact page may also be used by a company or competitors or end users for research purposes. People who are looking to improve on a product, see where a current or past product has failed, um, this may be something that they use as part of their research and development. Fact pages do have a bunch of benefits. I think the greatest benefit that can come from having a well organized, well thought out, and designed back page is that it's going to lend credibility to your organization. It provides instant access to solutions. It's cheap to initiate and maintain, being very easy to change if a product changes. It increases utility and product satisfaction because of the instant access that it allows users for solutions. And in some cases it allows an opportunity for cheap feedback and it's an effective customer relations tool. So I evaluated two types of FAC. I evaluated product FAC and services FAC. I did this in an effort to understand exactly how this genre or how this type of, of communication fits into this genre, how it creates itself. And for the product FAC, I evaluated Apple iPods FAC on how to adjust the volume on your iPod. Also in the product FAC, I evaluated Microsoft Office 365 Small Business Solutions FAC. In the service category, I evaluated Fox News' FAC page, the FAC on the CIA World Factbook, Roto-Rooter's Frequently Asked Questions page, as well as the FAC.org FAC page on buying a camera. Diving in now to the actual genre analysis we approach the first topic of discussion, dynamism. This genre is extremely dynamic in that it is able to cater to a variety of market needs. It could be describing a product or a service as we mentioned, but it could be describing a product for a child, or it could be describing a product for the high-tech industry. Um, it, it finds that it is extremely dynamic because of its ability to be easily changed. It doesn't take much for a website manager to get into the code words and start manipulating the HTML coding to represent the new needs of the company or of the market. Um, something that I found really entertaining, I kind of expected it, was it from the fact page an entire company's website and range of goods and services is available with just a click. Because it's in format of digital media it doesn't take long now you can really get around the globe with information without really doing too much work. Uh, one of the ways that I found that this genre was extremely dynamic 
is that this genre doesn't typically assume the demographics of the user. Now, this isn't always true. In the instance of Fox News and Microsoft, uh, one providing a service, the other providing a product, um, they do assume the demographics of their users and the people that they're going to be marketing their goods and services to. And they do that by um, using quality market analysis to show exactly who will buy their products. Now these are companies that have multi-millions of dollars available for creating this kind of uh, this kind of research. Um, Fox News and Microsoft both know the audience that they're catering to and their fact page does represent that. Onward and upward now to situatedness. This genre is situated solely by addressing a problem or a need. The only reason this genre exists is because people buy products. Products inherently have malfunctioning components or problems and this need for a solution needs to be addressed by a company. And so the best way it does that is it situates a fact page into their website. And the reason for doing this is because then they don't have to pay somebody to be on the phone with customers and they're able to save a lot of money. Um, it's fairly interesting that th this genre does rely on its dynamic state to remain situated. If the market changes, it's got to change. If it doesn't change, it's absolutely worthless. Design does greatly affect the degree of situatedness. And the reason it does that is because of credibility. It, a poor design tends to degrade the credibility of an organization, whereas uh, a more thought out, a well-designed fact page does much more in lending credibility to the organization, to the products, makes consumers want to buy that kind of product. Uh, each fact page is uniquely situated in its own brand. And I say that because every company that I evaluated, their fact pages are written in the context of standard form and content. However, each one identifies a different target audience as well as represents a different product or goal. Um, and I will say that marketing is a major goal in most companies frequently ask questions pages. Down to form and content, it is, uh, it's worth noting that each and every fact page that I read was in digital format. The use of frames is the industry standard, although not all of the fact pages I looked at had frames. Uh, most did. In fact, five out of six did use frames as a means of separating or segregating information. Uh, and most most websites fact pages were designed around a well detailed theme and this detailed theme flowed from web page to web page so it wasn't just the fact had its own unique theme it went with the entire website's theme again marketing is present in the majority of fact promoting brand products i did use or i did see the use of imagery um, in a handful most of the imagery was kind of benign, didn't really add much to the fact pages. I will say that the Roto-Rooter fact page really, really used um, used uh, imagery well in promoting their brand and establishing themselves in the community. Most of the fact pages do not use hyperlinks in the fact page. Again, Microsoft being kind of the industry leader in that industry, um, they took advantage of being able to insert hyperlinks. It's a high-tech industry. They figured it wouldn't make a difference. I do find it kind of irritating, um, but they do use hyperlinks, and it's not to say that it's a bad thing. It's just that uh, whenever you start using hyperlinks, you stop streamlining the quantity of information, and you have kind of this information overload. It's abundance of information. And now on to duality of structure. It's important to know and understand that frequently asked question pages were created to be somewhat impersonal yet concise and friendly. You didn't want to turn the consumer away, but you didn't want to encourage him to pick up the phone and say thank you either. Um, and and it's, it is so that it's once it's situated by its dynamic nature, a fact page uses rhetoric specific to its field 
or its sector in order to generate its dual structure. This duality of structure was never intended to be a staple of a fact page because products and services help to build communities. Now, it's cool that duality of structure is reinforced by product designers and consumers in that whenever you need help, whenever you do have a problem with a particular product, you can go to the fact page. And this is where brand power begins to reinforce dual structure. It becomes a social context. Do you drive a Jeep? I drive a Jeep. That must mean that you're a pretty cool guy. That's kind of the way it goes. Um, it, and it, it does, again, reinforce the rhetoric that is in the field by making that lingo commonly available for everybody to kind of learn and pick up, reinforcing the social structures. Now on to community ownership. Um, pride and performance. Most people who associate themselves with a particular brand do so because they are proud of the way that brand performs. I have a 1987 Land Cruiser and I absolutely love my Land Cruiser because of the way it performs. Thus, whenever I get together with other Land Cruiser nuts, we're all talking about how proud of our vehicles we are. That, that creates community ownership. Now within fact pages, Audiences are targeted for products and services that are catered to by the fact page itself. Because it endorses and it supports a product or service, it becomes a portal for new members. Therefore, learning, uh, in a sense, how to procreate its own community around a product or around a service or a concept or company, thus lending itself to branding, which continues to co-create community ownership. We come now to our conclusion of evaluating frequently asked question pages. This genre analysis has been very, very informative. In a sense, it's been more difficult than the literature analysis, but it has been much more rewarding in understanding just exactly how this genre does fit into uh, the marketplace and how it fits into technical communications. So real quick, remind you that fact pages are capable of achieving tremendous results when utilized properly. The correct balance and blend of design, features, and function can lend credibility to a company and to its products. However, a poorly designed fact page can degrade the credibility of a company and its products or services. Fact pages are simple by design. Their sole purpose in life is to provide information or solution for a problem. It is a prominent feature of most websites offering products or services and it is used in a way to market their own products or services and as a way to connect with customers. Thank you so much for listening to my genre analysis and I hope you have a great summer.